beauties, it's 7 Love Faith. I am going to be speaking about things you need to know before you consider coloring your hair and after you make the choice of coloring your hair, what you should be doing to maintain the health of your hair. So I shared with you guys on my last video that I went ahead and did a permanent color and I omitted the things that I've been doing to maintain my health, maintaining the, um, the moisture and things like that because it is very important as many of you may know already, when dyeing your hair, it dries out your hair uh, tremendously if you're not taking care of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get jump right into the, um, the video and share some of the things that I personally have done and um, also learned during if this If you process. find me looking on the side of me, I have just a couple of uh, notes that I want to make sure that I address not to leave anything out that may be important to you. All right, so waiting to color your hair. This is one of the important things you want to make sure you do before coloring your hair. If you are relaxed like myself, you want to wait at least two weeks before and after you relax your hair. You don't want to put chemical on top of chemical. That alone will cause a lot of damage and may even breakage. So um, my, uh, the professional advice that I received was I'm not coloring your hair until two weeks after you relax it. So I had to either, um, in my case, because I do stretch out my relaxers, I did it after I relaxed my hair because usually when you wait, you know, after six to eight weeks, your hair begin to, um, you know, crave for the relaxer. So you may even experience dryness um, and just your hair is not in a, in a relaxed type of texture um, where it normally would be when you get your relax when, when you get a fresh relaxer so in my case I did it afterwards because my hair was already kind of um, I had a lot of new growth I had um, you know it was beginning to, to be dry so I just wanted to make sure I do it after I put on the um, the relaxer so I waited about two weeks um, in fact it was two weeks on the mark so at that point, I went ahead and relaxed my hair. It was safe. It was ready to go. So I will say, make sure you do it two weeks before or after you relax your hair. For my natural sisters, I'm not sure exactly what the um, advice will be for that because, again, I'm relaxed. I don't. I haven't experienced that. So I would just recommend you get with your beautician, someone with professional um, advice and professional knowledge. Also, if you're gonna color your hair yourself make sure you read the label make sure you read the instructions know your hair texture know your hair state but if you are confident in yourself and you want to go ahead and proceed with doing it yourself then what you want to go ahead and do is make sure your hair is properly cared for before you put the chemical on it make sure you um, have trimmed ends and things like that and make sure you read the instructions on the box and properly apply it to your hair that way you're not causing you know any damage okay um, if you're gonna go to a beautician or someone um, that professionally does hair they know what they're doing I would say and highly recommend that you know what color you want because depending on your complexion every color is not for you so in my case I went with something more that would meet my complexion that would be not on a bright or a vibrant side but more on a calm and more on a darker side if that makes any sense so make sure it is something that you're comfortable with um, because it is permanent dye and once you color it you cannot reverse it and I cannot stress this enough you want to make sure you moisturize your hair I mean every week if every day for one if you're sealing and moisturizing your hair but a deep conditioning you want to do every week you want to do it more often than you normally would do. I personally deep condition my hair once a week anyway, once I relax my hair. Now, I will admit sometimes I don't do it every week. The furthest it would be is every two weeks. But you want to make sure you give yourself a deep conditioning because your hair lacks moisture. Because of the, the chemicals in the dye, it strips your hair of the natural oils. 
So you want to make sure you're reapplying what you're what you've subtracted from the chemicals, such as olive oil, coconut oil, um, moisturized butters, you know, things like that that will help keep your ends and your hair in good state and moisturized. So if you don't do anything else, keep it moisturized because your hair will be extremely dry. And the effects after having dry hair is breakage. So your hair will start <laughs> to come out if you don't really do what you need to do to keep it moisturized. So I'm not going to go ahead and, and um, beat a dare horse. Definitely keep it moisturized, seal and moisturize your ends. Now also you want to keep good trims. You want to keep maintaining your trims like you normally would do. You don't have to do it no often than you were doing before. You just want to go ahead and make sure you do it every time which is recommended every eight weeks to trim your ends sometimes you don't even need to do eight weeks depending on your hair state but you want to make sure you trim your ends um, your ends are the oldest part of your hair growth so whenever you're um, you just want to make sure you're babying that piece of your hair or that part of your hair because it is fragile and with dye it gets weakened so you want to again that's where making sure moisturizing and also trimming your ends come into play. Also, the season change. We're now jumping into fall. I'm so happy. I love the fall season. The weather is beautiful. And it just works so well and complements everything on your body, your skin, your hair. I mean, so when in the summer, for instance, um, I'm in Florida, so it is extremely hot on some days. Some days it rains, the humidity is extremely high. So in my case, I would love to wear my hair out every day because I want to show my color and keeping it wrap is just easy to maintain anyway. But I just had to sacrifice and go throughout the week with a bun or it tucked away and that's why it's tucked now because I found during the time that it was extremely hot outside my hair would be beautiful once I leave the house it looks like a hot mess and I would be darned if I invested all of this hard work into my hair and and not care for it so if it's hot I just went ahead and and bunned it up pinned the ends um, or tuck them away so that it doesn't have uh, um, adverse effect from the sun. And it's extremely important that you do that or just be conscious of your hair. Your hair speaks to you. So whatever it's telling you at that time, do it. And I'm okay with it because now that we're jumping into the fall season, the weather is going to be a lot calmer. Humidity is not going to be as high. And it's going to be lovely um, to be able to wear my hair out. So for the last three weeks, I have been having my hair tucked away because it's been extremely hot and it's been raining literally like every day. So um, I didn't play with that part. I just went ahead and, and, and did what I had to do to go ahead and keep my Also, hair you want to make sure you maintain your relaxers. If you color your hair and you're stretching your relaxers, be careful in that because... As you know, when you relax, if you are a relaxed sister like myself, it starts to be a little bit more dry. You may experience a little bit more shedding. So, again, keep timely tracks of your relaxers and make sure you're getting your relaxers done as needed because it will cause breakage. Your hair begins to get dry and, and it just causes a mess. So my um, I remember going into um, a time where my hair was, I would try to, to stretch it out. And I even consider going um, natural. So I consider myself transitioning. That didn't last a very long time. But I did go three months without a relaxer, which is extremely, extremely long for me. So... I noticed that my hair started to shed excessively and it's because that part of your hair that is relaxed is fragile like I said and it, it, it gets dry a little bit more often if you didn't stretch your relaxer. So it's important for you to try to go ahead and keep the relaxers going 
make sure that you're maintaining the ends and health of your hair state and then you wouldn't have any problems but definitely if you wait and stretch out your relaxers you will find yourself experiencing a little bit more shedding than normal so if your chemical um if you have chemicals on your hair if you have the permanent dye i would say stick with your routine six weeks eight weeks wherever it whatever the routine for you may be for me it's like between six and eight weeks right now i'm actually 10 weeks and that's because um i i may i've been wearing roller sets so the straightness of my hair um, has been fine and like I said I have been keeping it tucked away therefore I was able to stretch to 10 weeks but I am planning to uh, have my hair braided up maybe for the next couple of months but um, and and basically that's it when you permanently dye your hair again I said it before make sure it's something that you are comfortable with make sure it is a color that fits your complexion because you're stuck with it for a little longer than you want to, to have. I appreciate you guys checking in into this video. I just wanted to let you guys um, know some of the things that I personally recommend or suggest you should do or consider when dyeing your hair because it is extremely, extremely important for you to apply some of those tidbits. And if it's something that I left out that you suggest and have worked for you, feel free to leave the comment below and just let me know what you guys think. If you're wanting to see the color of my hair because of the lightning, you can't really see um, the, the actual color, I do have a video, video that I'm going to link below and you can um, look at that video and see the actual color. I have it tucked away and I don't want to take it down right now. So definitely check that video out and leave comments. If you like the video, don't forget to thumbs it up and I will see you guys on the next clip.